So the teacher has a project, or a, not a project, but an in-class thing. And they go again. <laughs> says, oh, I said, she says, now, this is what you're going to do here, class. I want you to stand up. <laughs> I want you to stand up and uh, tell the class what uh, a story from your life. And then afterwards, say the moral to that story. So a girl puts up her hand, yes, Becky, what's your story? So Becky stands up, she goes, my dad works for the hatchery here in town. And uh, what happens was he got about 15 eggs and he put them all in one basket, all the same basket. So he put all his eggs in one basket and he put it on the horse and buggy and drove back home. And by God, uh, the, Becky says the bouncing and all the eggs broke. Well, that's a good story, the teacher says, but what would the moral be to that? Becky says, well, the moral is don't put all your eggs in that one basket. But God damn, says the teacher, that's a good one. <laughs> Anybody else? Marjorie puts up her hand. Marjorie, what's your story? She says, well, my dad works for the hatchery, as most all of us. Thank God for the hatchery. <laughs> she says that we'd all be lost. But anyways, my dad knows that eggs become chickens. And so uh, he was uh, uh, counting his chickens, and he added in the eggs, you see. And then he put them on a horse and buggy to go to town, and they all bro broke. Well, what's the lesson to that? The teacher says she counted it. And uh, she says, well, don't count your chickens before they hatch out of an egg. Mm -hmm. So the teacher says, that's a great one, too. Anybody else? Well, wouldn't you know Dirty Johnny has his hand up? So the teacher's like, holy God, I, I don't want it. But on the other hand, I made an oath to every child should I suppose I got him all right dirty Johnny what do you have to say Johnny stands up stories about my uncle Terry he done never worked at the hatchery on the county he was in Vietnam and he got disability he don't even like people work at the hatchery but the story happened far from these shores. A little town called Da Nang. Terry was not well liked. His whole troop left him, abandoned. And he woke up in the weeds, and all they left him with was three bottles of Jack Daniels, some weapons. Terry stood up and downed one bottle right away said, if I'm going out, I'm going out. He took his <coughs> Balishnikov and a couple of blocks and his two bottles, and away he went. He found a town. And uh, he didn't know if it was Charlie or, or if it was one he was sent to protect. But all he knew was he had hate in his gut. So he uh, started firing. <laughs> And he fired the Kalishnikov with an arcing kind of, like a farmer would with hay, with a scythe. And sure enough, the men fell like hay before him. And then the women, and by God, I'm ashamed to say it, but then the children. And finally, all was left was Uncle Terry standing in the mud and the blood and the glory. Touched his pants and he, there was a. It was wet and he said he was ashamed. He felt shame, Uncle Terry, for he'd uh, pissed himself. Well, he touched it again. It was not urine at all, but ejaculate. And Uncle Terry felt pride where shame once was. And the teacher's like, "Good Christ! What kind of a story is that? What the hell is the moral to that?" Well, he says, uh, when uh, Uncle Terry's been drinking, you don't fuck with him. <laughs> <laughs>